Hello everyone and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and today we're going to be looking at a mod from Watofo. Historically we've not had a great run of mods from Watofo but this could be the changing point in my opinion. Uh, this is the Chieftain. It's an 80, 80 watt um, 26650 slash 18650 um, mod going on and it's not half bad. Before we do any more let's go down up close and we can have a little look at it and I can tell you my final thoughts when we come back up top. Lovely, come on then. All right then, so here we are up close with the Chieftain 80 Watt. Um, as you see, it's 26650 or 18650. Now let's get stuck into this bad boy, shall we? Oh, just a quick look around the uh, packaging there. Nothing overly exciting to get yourselves all in a tizzy about. Um, we do have the Kassar and Safata business going on there as well as your scratch and sniff. Now then, if we crack open the box, what we'll see is a user manual. Now something you need to be very, very much aware of when it comes to this user manual is that yes, it does tell you a whole bunch of good stuff as well, but um, this in particular charge spot, although they've called it a charge spot rather than USB port, um, it's not for charging, it's purely for updates. So uh, please be aware of that. Don't charge your uh, your unit through that right there. Now here you've got a good little run through, oh, hitting the camera, you've got a good little run through of a whole bunch of things if you want to have a read and it's pretty reasonable as well and uh, also on the back it does tell you about sort of what's covered under warranty repairs and all that good shit got the little giveaway t-shirt going on there as you get with all the tofo products these days and then get the mod out of there we'll look at that in a second in this little box here all you've got is a little usb cable um just one of these little super flat little things um, which is uh, which is rather than, well I think is better than one of the round ones anyway that's for your updates should you wish to get involved with all of that so this is the uh, this is the unit in black obviously let me just pop another light on there so we can get another little kind of um, look at this so yeah this is the black one now I'm going to show you another one in a second as a comparison now I thought I was a bit rough on mods however my good lady wife is even and rougher so you can see how the comparison works in a second but um yeah i mean i think it looks nice and simple it's nice and straightforward uh nothing really to get too excited about not crazy kind of logos and all that sort of stuff that chieftain there is perfectly acceptable i think or in my opinion anyway up top on the 510 you have got spring loaded 510 i've not had any issues with anything going in here um this slight instep here is kind of pointless but i suppose it catches a little bit of errant juice before it goes down into your 510 10 which i think is uh, is very reasonable obviously the size you've got here allows you to uh, put a whole bunch of different uh, RDAs and atomizers and tanks and things on here if you've got one of those big bad boy tanks that seem to be all the rage at the moment up the top you've got um, within a NAS chuff of uh, 30 mil up top there so most things will look pretty damn reasonable up on top of it now then to breaking this open you've got a little uh, you've got a little how's your father going on there oh you have got that underneath by the way you've got a little uh, thumb thingy there to get your nail into and that's where you will get when it's packaged it comes with one of these tubes so you don't have to use 26650 you can use an 18650 because of the the rubber around there as well it does fit in there nice and snugly and uh, doesn't tend to move around very much once the uh, once the case is all together obviously now then inside here you do have a spring loaded contact down there for your negative and I've not had any issues with that whatsoever now I'm going to tell you about uh, the batteries fitting in here when we go back up top but uh, as far as that goes all you've got to do is then uh, crack your battery into there put your negative in first super strong magnets holding it all together and away you go five clicks takes us on now then what i wanted to show you by comparison um this is the paintwork of uh, of mrs biker's um one that she's been testing i really wanted to get a good kind of feel for how this paintwork deals with modern day life if you like so this gets thrown in a handbag all the time and used a lot and you can see that the paint has started to come off in places um especially down at the bottom here um where that has kind of it's just 
from daily daily usage so whilst they do do a whole bunch of really great colors um, it's not the sort of the thickest most hard wearing paint job in the world um, and so I thought it was only good to see you or only only a good idea to let you see how that paint can get worn obviously this is the blue version but we're going to be looking at the black one more than anything today because this is the one that i've been using and you'll see that i haven't had any of the paint issues but then again i haven't left the house very much so <laughs> it's uh while i've not been purposefully looking after it it's uh that's kind of just been normal houseware if you like no right so getting into uh, getting into things, let me pop my RDA on top of here that I literally just took off and I've got no idea what I've done with it. And here we go. No, it isn't. Well, we'll find it in a second. Um, there it is. There it is. I see you. Right. I'm going to pop the Rashomon on here for the time being, just so we can see what happens. So as soon as you put a new coil in, let me give a little zoom in here so you can see what's going on with the screen. As soon as you pop a new coil in, um, it is going to ask you if it is a new coil or an old coil. In this case, we're going to say a new coil, and it's going to read the resistance straight off the bat there. Now, uh, it does go fire down in wattage mode down to 0.09. Um, and uh, in temp mode does go down to 0 0.03 which is pretty damn low in my opinion but uh, but yeah anyway let's crack on to this one the fire and the uh, and the um, up button together gets a little highlight going on in the wattage mode now if you then click through with just the up button it takes you through your different modes at the moment if I just go back to this, um, you can see we're in centigrade, but it's also offering 316. Now, if we choose, well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Fahrenheit. Um, once you choose it, it then allows you to choose your wire type. So you can then flick through whichever type of wire that you'll be using. I genuinely only use 316 these days when we're looking at temp control. However, let's go back into uh, that. Now, the jewels business I will talk about when we go back up top. Now, here we go with the uh, the out DIY. So this is the power out. Now, what you can see here is I've set it so we've got a nice big chunk of going at kind of 70 watts-ish to start with. And then it comes down to 10 watts for a couple of fires and then up to 70 again or 80, something like that. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you'll notice that I've done that a few times recently. Oh, just getting the camera where I want it to go so you can see this thing firing um, because I think it's quite important this is a good little uh, system to have when you've got when you've got uh, claptons and all that sort of stuff or you've got a lot of metal going on in your coil because you do want it to possibly get that preheat going a little bit more than uh, with a round wire build now just taking that off there um, we've got the plenty of juice going on on the coils so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it and what we should see is we should see it fire nice and hard to start with for half a second and then down for a second and then nice and hard again for half a second. Right, so I just edited a little bit out there just because I was being a bit of a muppet. So what we've got there is 80 watts to start with and then down nice and low and then 80 watts again. So let's have a little look and see what happens with the, uh, with the, with the, the coil once I start firing it, shall we? So what you saw there is just from cold, it didn't do this first initial fire. There's just a little bit of a sag there, but then it took a couple of logos and then uh, and then it did fire up for the second time. But then when it cycled round again, that first hit was included. So let's just do that once again. So you can see that that very first time you press the button, it's not really kicking it over hard um, right at that first level there. So what I would suggest is if you are using this in preheat mode or you're looking to preheat a coil, then you have the first two, um, the, the the yeah the first two kind of bars go in there as uh, as being sort of up if you like, you know. Um, Right, so let's get back into uh, into what else we're dealing with there. Otherwise, it's just straight into wattage mode. And like I said, I'm going to talk about the uh, I'm going to talk about the jewels again when we go back up top. I'll also talk about how effective it is in uh, in uh, temp control mode when we go back up top. But otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. It's nice and easy. It's a super simple mod to use. Uh, if you want to flip the screen, that's just the fire and the uh, and the down button. 
the two uh, the two up and down buttons together will lock the up and down so you can't increase or decrease the uh, the wattage there but you can fire it so that's still firing away like a good one, but it stops you being able to uh, alter your wattage don't know why I went all out of focus there um, and otherwise ladies and gentlemen that is fairly straightforward one two three four five and then we're powering off like a good one. Right, let's go back up top and we can have a little vape. All right, so that was the up close with the two chieftains. Now, what I've done is I actually set this one up in normal wattage mode and this one up in temp mode. And I'll show you the difference or how they work in those in a second. A couple of points I wanted to make. Now, excuse me. Now, with the battery, um, I said that I was going to sort of approach it when we come back up top, and I am. The idea is that the 26650, 26650 batteries are a bit of a pain in the bum because some of them are longer than others, which is daft, but they are. Uh, now, the one I've got in here at the moment is the uh, the iJoy affair, um, but I have also tried it with the, uh, the Orange MNKE, I've tried it with the Black Bassin and Efest as well, and all of those other um, all of those other batteries do fit in there absolutely fine, if a little tight, if anything. Um, but when it comes to this iJoy one, it does kind of rattle around a little bit in there. So you know you are um, you you do feel it moving around, but I don't think that's really an issue because. Not many people have the iJoy batteries anyway, but also, you know, everything else works absolutely fine and dandy. So it's just one of those things. I think I've overdripped here a little bit. Excuse me for a second. Um, right, let's have a little vape, shall we? In here at the moment, I have got just a couple of, of basic. You do, you can't see. Do you care? It's a mod. It's not, it's not an RDA review. Um, a couple of basic uh, coils going on in there, which look lovely. Can't remember who they're from, but they're gorgeous. Anyway, 66.6 .6 watts, 0 0.15. And I think it's putting out. It's doing exactly what it says on the tin. It certainly feels that way anyway. I have not been able to measure it, but it certainly does feel like it. I've not had any issues with it with regards to the output doing what it says. The only issue that I have had, and it kind, I kind of alluded to it in the uh, in the point where I'm looking at the at the preheat and all that sort of stuff. Initially, it can have a little bit of a, a sag when it comes to kind of initially, first of all, pressing that button before it's kind of got itself going. So yeah, I mean, it, you can, you do feel it sometimes, you know, um, but generally you don't you don't pick up a mod and just go anyway. So it's not really that much of a hoo ha. But uh, just to make you aware that that does happen, the buttons feel lovely, really tight and clicky. The buttons aren't rattly at all, which I think is really nice, um, and I've just enjoyed using it. Now then, onto the blue one. This is the one that Mrs. Biker has been using and is in a bit of a sorry state, bless it. Now what I've got on here is I've got a stainless steel 316 um, coil going on there at the moment. Um, a couple just of a big chunky uh, 24 gauge um, 4 mil ID about 8 wraps going on and that's coming in at at well that's wrong why is it coming in at that it's saying it's 0 po uh, 1.02 that's not right at all hold you on let me just check make sure everything's tight it should be there's no reason for it not to be uh, to do to do to do Right, I'm just going to unscrew it, whoop, unscrew it, new coil in there, right, 0 0.23, that makes more sense now then. Um, okay, so let's have a little vape, now the, the cotton in here is pretty much dry, so it shouldn't do a great deal, and it didn't. It's just pulling through those final bits of juice in that cotton. Now, what I'm going to do now is just re-apply uh, um, a bunch of juice. I am using the Mirage Acacia in here at the moment. Just throw a shit ton of that in there. And let's pop the cap back on again. 
Right, now we should get a, uh, a decent vape. And we do. Lovely job. And that, this isn't, I did over drip in there a little bit. Now this isn't with any TCR settings or anything like that. This is just with the 316 setting that is uh, is on the mod. And I'm pleased to say that it does work. It does provide you that temperature limiting capability. I've not had too much rattlesnaking from it with this, although I know Mr. Todd did when he used um, NI200 wire. So um, yeah, that, that may be a thing, but Oh no, there is. If you're not if you're not sucking on it, see if you can hear this. So you can you might have heard that, and it is going. But when you're actually sucking on it, it were. It's not something that you massively, massively feel like some of the sort of the cheaper mods out there can give you. So all in all, I would give that a thumbs up in temp control. The only the only downside, like I say, that I can see with it is with the uh, with that kind of initial lag when it goes to uh, to do the, the 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 ramp up. But that's you know it's not a huge issue if that's the only worry that I've got with it. And uh, I've got to say, all in all, I think it does perform really, really well. I've been enjoying it. It's a nice. It's a good Good size mod you can see when you take the battery off that you're not taking up a huge amount of extra space up here um, obviously you've got to have your 510 come down that's going to take up kind of half of that space um, and it's not been an issue now you have got magnetized doors and so there there's no real requirement for any extra um, extra venting to take place although it will vent through the USB port if the untoward should happen um, it's got plenty of safety guards though, so that's very, very unlikely. Um, but all in all, ladies and gentlemen, I just think it's a really good, well-performing mod. Now then, when it comes to price, I haven't seen many places with this in stock as yet, and I've taken ages to review this because I really wanted to give it a really good going over. I wanted to make sure it was doing what I was expecting it to do, and I wanted to see how, in this instance, how the paintwork held up and all that sort of good stuff. Um, I know a lot of people review things pretty quickly. Um, I do on occasion, sort of within, within a couple of weeks, but this has taken longer because I just... Because it's a, a Watofo product, I wanted to check it was going to stand up. Now, there are DAs do, but uh, historically, I've not had a great deal of luck with their mods. So, um, yeah, and I'm pleased to say, other than the paint being a little bit thin, um, it stood up well to the test of time. So, that's all I've got to say about it with regards to uh, to that. Price-wise, I think I was just mentioning on there, on the Watofo website itself, it's 59 99 um, and it comes in a bunch of different colours. You've got black, green, silver, red, dark blue and orange. So there's a bucket load there you can choose if you really, really want to. Um, and I have noticed that Matt at M Vapes uh, has them on pre-order for... How much were they? I know that wasn't very expensive. Um, where is it? Where is it? I think it was, it was under 60 quid anyway. Um, oh, here we go. Just a bit of a Google. Like I said, not many places have got them going on. But, oh no, 50 quid. He's got it on pre-order at 49 Um, which is a cracking deal. It really, really is. So, yeah, all in all, good, solid 26650 mod. A good, solid performer. A decent work beater, if that's the sort of thing you're interested in. And all in all, I think it works as it says on the tin and as it should do. That's all I've got to say. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I will see you on the next one. It'll be vlog day tomorrow. I think Mondays are going to be my normal vlog days now. It's not, there's nothing there's nothing on the telly on a Monday night, is there? So you may as well watch a vlog. So anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks very much. I've been Neither Vape and Biker. This has been The Chieftain. Go out and have it very large. <laughs> <laughs>